It is possible to download the full text of this tutorial at our website www.saweb.com. This tutorial will work with Flash CS4 or later. Previous versions do not have all the features we use on this tutorial. Check your version on the main menu, clicking on Help and About. Click on File and let's open a new document. For this tutorial we will be using our logo as a sample to apply some animation. To bring an image to the stage, ask for file, import, to stage. Let's go to frame 40, ring her click and ask for insert keyframe. Move the symbol to the desired last pose of the animation. Go back to frame number 1, right click and ask for create classic tween. Note, a long arrow shows between first keyframe and last. The arrow represents the tween. A tween is the interpolation. All Flash needs to know is the first frame and last. It calculates the in-between. That is why the interpolation is called tween. A tween is the name for the calculated frames in between two keyframes. Play the animation and see the result. This is called a classic tween. Adobe introduced a new type of run called motion tween. First let's clear the animation a bit to give some space to the new animation. Select all frames besides the first one and ask for remove frames. Right click the first frame and ask for remove tween. We are now done with classic tween and ready for motion tweening. A motion tween will work only with symbols. Make sure you right click and ask for converter symbol if you just imported your image. Right click frame 40 and insert frame. Now right click and ask for create motion tween. Note the blue area. Note there is no dotted line or need for adding keyframes. Move the symbol on the last frame. Note the path line. The path line shows the trail the symbol will go along the animation. Play the animation and see the result. The symbol follows the path just like a classic tween. Now the innovations start. Using the select tool, approach the pointer to the path line until a small curve shows. Now bend the path line, changing the trail. Again, play the animation and see the result. The symbol follows the curve we just created. It is also possible to transform the size of the path line. Select the path line with the pointer. Click on the free transform tool enlarge the path. Play the animation and see the result. Flash moves the symbol to a new location following the new size of the path. Thanks for watching my video clip. For same day reply, post your questions, requests or suggestions on our website www.saweb.com.